Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Uh, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi. Again, doing a walk and talk on the beautiful beach this morning. The colors today are amazing, guys. Just check these colors. Just check these colors. These are amazing. It's like beautiful morning again. Yeah, this, this is why I get up so early. Look how beautiful. The sun will pop through the clouds pinkish beautiful colors all over the place a beautiful morning you can still see the moon over there behind the clouds what more do we want guys what more do we want beautiful yes again a beautiful video today as well uh, yes we are talking about some bitcoin charts i will keep the charts till the end we will talk about some uh, traveling we will talk about some news we will talk about some trading uh, we will talk about a shitload of lo uh, lovely things i will try to keep the video today a little bit shorter than yesterday it was a little bit long let's say let's go and for let's go for the next of 10 minutes today let's jump into the first part bam Let's start with the news, guys. The news for today is again uh, the, the ETFs, the spot ETFs for Bitcoin, guys. Yes, all of the spot ETFs again have been been delayed for 45 days again. So uh, yeah, uh, they are playing around with us. And you know the most strange thing yesterday is before the news came out that the spot ETF was delayed, the price already dropped. So this is manipulation of the market in my honest opinion because if the price drops before the news comes out a shitload of people already knew that that was going to happen the delaying of the spot etf and that exactly is the first example of why i've been telling all of you guys i don't like these institutional investors stepping into bitcoin that is what I've been warning you guys for already for months with my videos. The moment these big institutional investment funds will step into Bitcoin, they will try to manipulate it in their way. And that's what we've seen because, you know, these drops in Bitcoin before the news coming out, it's not the normal people that know that the news will again be the we will delay the spot ETF. So I believe that these huge institutions already know exactly what is playing and they are testing out now. How can we drop Bitcoin? How can we pump Bitcoin? What kinds of volume do we need? What kinds of volume we need in the bull market? You know, when the retail investors again jump into this uh, industry. So for me, again, the whole story of these spot ETFs yeah, it's just, just a bad feeling to me. One, they are taking away the power of Bitcoin because Bitcoin will go into the hands of that 1% rich again instead of the hands of the people that really need Bitcoin. Two, they will in the far future, after one or two more halvings, have more control on the market than the miners and the exchanges because of the fees the exchanges earn in, in, in Bitcoin and the miners, you know, they mine Bitcoin and can bring 900 Bitcoins per day to the market at the moment. But it will drop to 450, then to 225, then to 112, then to 60 per day. So the less Bitcoins will be brought to the market by the miners and the less people will be trading on centralized exchanges, the less Bitcoins will be, the less Bitcoin will be the less it will be possible for those two parties to manipulate, the less it will be possible for those two parties to manipulate the price, and the more it will be possible for these huge investment funds that back then only shitload of Bitcoin to manipulate the price. That is the story I've been telling you now already for months. And I think yesterday that is the first example of what happens when these suits, I call them fucking suits, because they wear suits and not like beautiful shirts like me, Bob Marley. These suits, they don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about freedom. They don't give a fuck about poor people. They don't give a fuck about Bitcoin's fundamentals. They don't give a fuck about Bitcoin being able to be peer-to-peer -peer cash for the normal people. They only give a fuck about their own pockets and filling those pockets in many fucking fucked up ways. And those fucked up ways are manipulating the market, 
big time. That's what we, that is what we see now. Before the news came out, the Bitcoin price already dropped. This is like manipulation. And that is why we should say no to all those ETS like forever and just manipulate the market with the people. If we all collectively worldwide empty our bank accounts, the 4 billion people that have a bank account, if we all collectively cash out all our dollars from the bank account and then put that then in Bitcoin guys, that would mean that at that moment we will pump the price as people. Bitcoin was made by the people, for the people and we should pump it with the people and we should not depend on institutional investors. Let those suits become normal people again. Let those suits also understand how to buy Bitcoin without an investment fund. Let all the other people as a world also understand that they can buy Bitcoin and they don't need BlackRock or Vanguard or any other grayscale or whatever they need. They just need to empty the bank account and buy Bitcoin. News for today. Bad. Look how beautiful guys. The dog is swimming with uh, the boss. Must be a Dutch swimmer and a Dutch dog. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Which brings me to the advice for today, guys. My live advice of today. Um, it's a slogan that we use on the website, the BitcoinFamily.com and also on YoloFamilyTravel.com. And the slogan is, fear will kill all your dreams. Yes, fear will kill all your dreams. And what do I mean by that? That if you fear for new things, you will destroy your dreams. You will never achieve your dreams. You will never make your dreams come true because you're too afraid to take certain steps. And that is also counting for Bitcoin. The fear for people to buy Bitcoin because of the news will kill their dreams of freedom in the future. Because other people that are not fearful, like the institutional investors, like the Black Rocks, because they understand the limited amount of bitcoins 21 million they understand the growth of the man they understand the need of this technology they don't fear bitcoin they're gonna buy a shitload of bitcoin and by that keep the control on the monetary system and when these people keep the control on the monetary system let me tell you the truth then we will soon live in 15 minute cities where they will force you to do whatever they want you to do and I, I definitely don't want to wear that thing anymore. I definitely don't want to have this any time in my life. I don't want to have any of those 15 minute cities that will save the world and make it greener, blah, 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 shit. I want to be free. I want to have freedom. And I want to keep that freedom for my children's future, guys. And the only way that we can do it is if we take control back on the money. They can only control us as long we use their currency. The moment we start to use our currency, they will lose control. And our currency, the currency that we created in a decentralized way for everyone out there to use, is Bitcoin. So we should never give away control on Bitcoin away to that 1% rich people over there that wants to control humanity. BlackRock and all of those big institutions that are behind the last couple of years what happened to you guys. We should not give away Bitcoin's power to them. We should keep control ourselves. Just my honest opinion. Oh yeah, so that was the advice for today. Fear will kill all your dreams. Of course, I'm talking about big things, uh, big things now. It also comes with small things, guys. Every little thing in your life. If you have a dream, go for it. Don't fear for the unknown. Go for your dream, make it come true, and live your life to the fullest. That was the advice of the day. Man. Which brings us to the travel tip of today, guys. The travel tip for today is very simple. Always make photocopies of all your important documents. Yes, you have your password, and yes, you have your special travel bag, and yes, you have all that stuff make photocopies of all the important documents of your password of your driving license of your insurance of all those documents you make a photocopy and you keep that photocopy somewhere in the cloud or somewhere on your telephone and in the cloud because before you know it you will lose your password and then you will be asked if you have a photocopy of that password if you don't have that you will be able uh, you will won't be able to travel outside of a country and all that stuff sometimes when you have these photocopies and some pictures 
they will be able to uh, identify you and tell you okay you can travel but as long you need to uh, request for this new passport also when you go then to the embassy it's very easy to have your photocopy with you because mostly whatever you want to do they want to ask a photocopy of your document so for me the best travel tip for today is always have a copy of your important documents with you physical in your iphone also of course in the cloud so you can always exit this wherever you are that was the travel tip of today start copying bam the first chart guys today is the gaussian channel chart that you're used for me it's a five day chart every candle is five days the current candle will take another day and 18 hours to close um, i don't know if you remember but if you look back a couple of videos i told you guys the moment we break into this gaussian channel again there is a huge chance we will be drawn to the midline of the gaussian channel and that midline of the gaussian channel at the moment is 24,490. that level is the level i expect bitcoin to drop to at least with a wick and because mostly when we are in this five-day channel we will visit that level and if we don't keep support on that level we can even fall to the bottom line of the gaussian channel which is at 21,500 ish guys still above 21k which is beautiful but be aware that this gaussian channel in the past has always proven to be right guys and every time when we see these huge movements inside the channel we are drawn to the midline of the channel as you see over there or to the bottom of the channel as you see there and when we break that bottom of the channel that is when the bear market starts again just like we saw um, over here guys in 2019 for example you know we were drawn into the middle to the bottom you know even here with the COVID crash we had a little red part of the channel but that was when we had a beautiful black swan event the COVID crash guys so be aware we can fall to those two levels next these are the massive support levels for me if you want to buy bitcoin cheaply put your spot orders at these levels over there beautiful at 24,000. beautiful at 21 and a half thousand us dollars guys if we zoom out a little bit we go to the monthly chart and the monthly chart that's the one we talked yesterday about as well i told you there was a very important closing candle over there that candle closed at 25,930 that is not a very positive closing it's closing um, below the 200 weekly moving average i really don't like that because that means that we can easily go to that orange line now uh, which is at 24,750 and if we break that we can go again to that purple line which is at 20,900 so that's around at 21,000 US dollar the moment um, that we will create those candles because you know it will take a few months to create a few monthly candles it's very simple if you look at the bottom here if you look at the bottom guys yes we can still see the MACD green but it's getting light green over there and that should be becoming more dark green uh, that we are bullish but again it's a monthly chart zoom out i think it's a perfect moment to be buying bitcoin now down below 30k everywhere between 10 20 and 30k will be a beautiful buy because just imagine in the far future bitcoin being 100k do you really think you care about buying at 20k or 25k because you will whatever whatever level you buy be in a shitload of profit if bitcoin reaches 100k let's jump into the next chart this chart is exactly explaining what i just told you guys because on this chart you can see that black horizontal line every time the bear market is below the black horizontal line and when we break to the upside of that line again then we never go down below that line again just look to the first time there in 2020, uh, 2015 the bottom and we came below that horizontal line with the abc correction then we came above it again where you see the yellow circle on the chart and from that moment we never came below that line again now we look to the bottom in 2018 abc correction then we came in a yellow circle above that black line and that black line if you look to the left is made because of all the support created around that level just look to the left uh, of the yellow circle you will see a lot of candles uh, touching that black line guys and we never came down below it again aside of the COVID wick now now again we if we draw that line we will be around the area of 30k which means the moment we will break the 32k level 
we will never come back down below 30k ever again so that is why you should be buying all the bitcoins you can below 30k but in the far future we will never return back below that level again guys now then we have this chart we are not too late of course not of course two and a half percent were the innovators now we are in the early adopters phase and um, depends how you look at it if you look at the bitcoin wallets or if you look at the adoption and the use of bitcoins but whatever way you look at it we are still very early guys we are in the early adopters phase we still need to go to the early majority and that is when the bitcoin price will peak at massive heights and i think that will take another 10 to 12 years before we uh, uh, arrive at that level but now still a beautiful moment to step into bitcoin but the thing that you need to understand is you must not fear bitcoin but you must embrace bitcoin's power that were the charts for today bam that were some beautiful charts guys which brings me um to the trading tip of today the trading tip of today guys is very simple you always need to diversify your portfolio but don't make it too wild, guys. Yes, it's beautiful to have like five to 10 um, cryptocurrencies in your portfolio, but if you make 20, 30, 40, 50s of these cryptocurrencies in your portfolio inside of Bitcoin, you will lose track of all of them because you need to keep track of them when they are pumping, when you need to sell them, when you need to make profits. And if you have too many as a beginner, you will lose track of all of your currencies and that will lead into massive losses. I had this already in 2017. I bought every alt, every new alt, every ICO, I bought them all. And at the end I had so many, I couldn't keep track of them anymore, man. You can create Excel sheets, everything. But then you're stuck to your computer 24 seven. Way better to really do research after some beautiful projects that you really think it will grow and then diversify uh, your capital into 10 of them and just keep track of those 10, which makes your life way more easy and you have time left to walk the beach and uh, with these beautiful sunrises over here, guys. Now, that was my trading tip of today. Bam. Which also is the end of the video, guys. I hope you really uh, enjoyed this video again. Uh, the short TA of that and all the other news. If you did enjoy the video, then please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about this uh, chart? What do you think about the BlackRock situation? What do you think about all the other tips that I gave you in this video? Um, it is Friday, uh, it is the 1st of September. I wish you an amazing September month. Before we zoom that big out, guys, in life, you always need to zoom in. Enjoy every single minute of the day. So uh, I wish you already a beautiful Friday, a beautiful weekend. In the weekend, I won't do walk and talks. I will do two lives uh, in the Saturday morning somewhere. Uh, English live and on the Sunday morning I'm gonna try a Dutch live again because we have a lot of Dutch followers and they ask me Didi speak Dutch again that ga ik doen op zondag <laughs> thanks for watching guys wish you an amazing week and uh, check the CME gap of course we close it tonight uh, because that is where we will return to on Sunday evening again thanks for watching wish you an amazing day and see you tomorrow again Bam.